purple. Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in a really weird place, and we're just gonna mix it up all the time. Keep it really fresh and interesting. You'll never know where I'll be filming. Um, but my office is a hot mess. If you saw my last video, Tim and I moved in together. Really exciting, I will link that video. And then on my vlog channel, I have our apartment tour. Really messy apartment tour, because that's gonna make the final product video really amazing and nice. And I'm sitting like in front of my big screen window. window um, screen doors, slider doors, whatever you call them, because I'm getting some natural light, and I decided I wanted to film with natural light today. Can you tell I've had too much coffee? Yes, I have. Okay, so I have a haul for you, and this is a Target haul, Target boutique, um, as we like to call it here in Minnesota, and I have got some clothing items, I've got some, uh, makeup items, I've got some beauty hair care items, I just, actually what happened was yesterday I was on the phone with my mom and I was in Target and we were talking about something like kind of serious and I was wandering around Target and while we were talking and I was like, well, I'll just keep picking things up. Oh, that's new. Oh, that's new. Oh, I like that shirt. I need another superhero shirt. That's what I need in my life. And I finally was like, mom, we've been talking for an hour and I've been in Target the entire time and I'm literally buying everything in Target. And she was like, okay, I think you need to leave. And so I got in a checkout line, but I kept everything that I had picked up in my cart. So this is what happened. I needed to get some new shampoo, which is something that I never run out of because I always remember when I need to get shampoo or I always just have a stockpile. But because we have departments, I threw out like a ton of it because a lot of it I wasn't using or I didn't like it and I was just like I don't need this and I threw it out and so then we got up here and we had like two days worth of shampoo and for the last day we've been using this tiny little mini bottle last two days this mini bottle of shampoo and I'm like rationing it so I was like okay hey girl time to buy some shampoo so I got I've, I've used this and liked it in the past and it's the L'Oreal Total Repair five restoring shampoo and this is um, for dry overworked hair and I've actually been feeling and I'm getting I'm getting my extensions moved up on Thursday um, but I might call her and just do a consult because I actually think that I might need new hair um, it's been getting like really tangly um, I don't know we're coming on I bet have had them since uh, October November December January February March April May it will have had this hair for eight months and I just feel like I need new hair. I don't know. I just feel like, I know it's supposed to last for one to two years, but I just feel like no matter how many masks I do on it, it just stays tingly. Um, so I got this to try to help with it, the Total Repair Shampoo, and of course I got the Total Repair Conditioner, and I like this because it's ginormous. Like, this thing is huge. 25 ounces, Pfft, girl can't go wrong with that. Also, sorry if the light is like in, out, in, out, because I'm using natural light. I kind of want to use natural light from now on, so I might do that in my office because I've got a big window and I've got my computer set up with my desk, so I could use that window, I think, and it would look pretty. You just might see like my office in the background, but I think I'm okay with that. Okay, then I also picked up the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Please tell me this is a hair mask. Is this not a hair mask? Yeah, this is a hair mask. Leave in for three to five minutes. So I'm going to use this today, and I'm so excited, later when I need a shower because right now my hair is so purty. Uh, I'm going to film a vlog video after this, and then I have to do some errands. Then some makeup items I picked up are, one, this is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer Mascara, and I'm wearing it today. And this is what the wand looks like. It is crazy, really, like, thin. It's got, like, nothing on it, but it works uh, so well. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I'm so excited about that. I used it today, that's why I know I love it. Then I got this, I don't know if this is new or what, but it's the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. It's a balm, and it kind of reminds me of the Mali Pore like, Face Defender. Um, it's just clear, and it feels like like a balmy version of, it kind of feels like, what is it called, like Magnificent or something like that from Benefit? or no, Dr. Feelgood, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a balm like this, and I use this today, and I like it, I mean, it seems cool, so I got that, then I got a couple of these new Smokisme, is that how you say, Smokisme, I don't know, L'Oreal's Infallible Never Fail Powder Eyeliner Pins, I got Black Smoke, and I got Taupe, and I'll say, first impression, don't hate it, but you do need a blending brush. You can't just like blend this with the applicator and it look nice, I don't think, unless you're like really good with it and practice with it a lot. But girl ain't got time for that. When I wanna use it, I wanna use it and I want it to look nice. So I would carry on a blending brush with me 
for these, um, but I did use this on um, my upper lashes today, like not lashes, but my upper lash line in the outer third, and I liked it. The taupe one was pretty. Then I picked up a couple CoverGirl products. CoverGirl had some new stuff come out, you guys. Their new Outlast All Day Primer, and then also their Stay Luminous Foundation. This is the foundation I'm wearing today. This color, I think, looks pretty dark in the store. This color is 855 Honey, Natural Honey, Soft Honey, gives skin even coverage and natural glow that lasts all day. Do I have a natural glow? Do I look like I have even coverage? I don't know, you're gonna have to tell me. I think it was pretty nice. I did put um, one layer on and didn't think it was enough coverage, which for me doesn't usually, uh, I don't usually need a ton of coverage anymore, but I do have some redness coming out and just a couple like breakouts randomly. I have one on my chin. Um, so I did put a little bit more in my T-zone, um, but I mean, I liked the coverage okay and I think I liked the finish. So I'll have to keep testing that out for you guys. Then, um, the thing I'm most excited for are these new CoverGirl Outlast Lip Sticks. And these look bomb. I'm wearing this one today, so I'm not going to swatch it. But it is called, it is in the shade 940. Why? These are Long Wear Plus Moisture CoverGirl Outlast Lip Sticks. Um, I don't know. It's just in 940. They don't have names. Oh, Vixen Violet. There we go. Vixen Violet is the one I'm wearing. You guys know how much I love purples. Then I got this amazing color. Let's see what it's called. Amazing Auburn. Look at that. I should work for cover girl. Oh my god. I love it so much. I love that like deep ruby burnt red. Then I got this awesome coral. Red siren. Wait, is this the coral? Yeah. This is like more of a, supposed. it looks like more of an orange red. And it is. Oh my gosh. Abby can't wait to wear that. Oh my gosh. She also refers to herself in the third person when she gets excited, apparently. Then the last one is Pink Shock. This is like a fuchsia. I was thinking it might be like Matte Girl About Town. And it is. These feel super nice and hydrating. But I'll tell you, I drank coffee all morning and I had this on. Because um, I had a conference call with my clients this morning at 8. And I was on that call and I was like drinking my coffee. And my coffee was like all, I mean my lipstick was all over the rim of my coffee cup. And I was like, oh, that sucks. It's all off. Like, these don't actually outlast anything. And then I got up to go to the bathroom, and it looked perfect on my lips. So either you can blot, or if you don't care if it transfers a little bit, that's fine. Um, it's going to transfer. But if you don't care about that, then just let it transfer. If not, you can blot it, and then it will stay on. Like, it has looked pretty nice on my lips until I just reapplied it, which has been about, I put it on at about 7, and it's about 1 six hours. I'm going to pretend like I didn't just count that on my fingers. It's fine. Okay. So I'm pretty excited about all these shades and now you guys got to see them. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Then I got this top from Target Boutique. It is, I guess I'll stand up. Are you guys liking my hyper today or is it freaking you out? Is it freaking you the F out? And you're just like, Abby, slow down. Who put a quarter in her? All things I've heard before. Oh, oh there goes the shampoo. This is my little crop top. I got this from Target, and I just like love it. How stinking cute is it? And I love white shorts. Like white shorts in the summer, oh my god, amazing. Now, the rest of my clothes that I got. So this is where I got into real trouble with my mom because I was like, mom, I really, I just keep finding all the cute things in Target. So this I found, um, because I'm like, you guys, I'm so obsessed with the superheroes. It's kind of a problem. I just bought Thor underwear, and I bought Iron Maid pajamas, and I bought an Iron Man shirt, and then I found this one, and it is, says, trust me, I'm a superhero. What? You know I'm a superhero. So I got this one. I'm so excited about it. Um, then I found this cute, I just like love the color mustard. I don't know why. And I think it looks so pretty with white in the summer and with a tan. So I got this like mustard crop top. Boop -a -doop. Then I got a bunch of basics. So I guess I didn't do as bad as I thought I did. But these looked so seeing comfortable, you guys, and they're kind of croppy, but I'm going to wear these to the gym. That's where I see myself wearing these, and I'll wear these too with, like, jeans and with white shorts too, but I got a white one. They're just, like, racer back in the back, kind of, with skinny straps, which I love, and they're flowy, and they just, you could wear these to the gym, or you could wear these, like, out and about and look really freaking cute. Like, how good would this look with the white shorts I'm wearing? So I got this coral. I don't own any purple. So when I saw this, I got this. And these are extra smalls in Target, by the way. And then I got a black. So I just got some staples. I think these were $12 each. $12.99, yeah. So yeah. And 
that is what I got from Target, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little weird hyper haul that I did for you. Have an awesome day. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like haul videos. Make sure to check out my video below about Tim and I moving in together. And then I'll also link my channel, my vlog channel, so that you guys can go check out our apartment tour because I'm doing that all on my vlog channel. Make sure to check out my vlog channel and go subscribe. If you guys haven't, it's really fun. I post videos over there every day or every other day, and so it's really fun because you get to see a little bit more of my everyday life, my workouts, the food um, that I eat, and all different kinds of things as I'm going through prep for my next bikini competition, which is June 20th, and I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I will see you next time. Bye.